What's up guys? Welcome back to Hashtag Ask BRP. This is episode 27. Today I am outside as it is absolutely gorgeous out. Tiny, tiny bit hot. Um, so we are in South Florida, but it's very nice out. So I figured let's get out of the air conditioning into the wild a little bit. Today, I want to talk to you guys about watch and whether buying watches is a good investment. To answer it simply is it depends. Some people, some people really think watches are a great investment and spend a lot of time and money on them. Other people don't. They think it's a toy, a piece of jewelry, you know, that they want to wear for fun. The first thing that I would say that separates a watch from a toy to an investment is the brand. If you go buy a Seiko for 500 bucks at a kiosk in the mall, you're not making any money on it. Doesn't matter how long you have it, that watch, as soon as you put it on your wrist, is pretty much worthless. Now, if you buy a Rolex, that's a different story. The brand of the watch has a lot to do with whether it's gonna increase, decrease, stay the same in value over time. The second thing that really affects whether it's gonna be an investment, something you can make money on, is whether you buy it new or used. Let's say you go to Mayer's today, go to the Rolex section. There's gonna be a Submariner in there for $8,000. Let's say they give you a 5% discount, you end up spending $7,500, $7,800 on it. In five years, you go to sell that watch, you're gonna take a big hit. I would not consider that an investment. However, if you buy that same watch used from a high-end pawn shop like my store, or from an estate jewelry store, you know, you might be able to walk out of there with it on your wrist for six grand, 6,500. Now, it could be an investment. You wait five years, 10 years, you go to sell that back, you may make some money on it. Now, you may not make a lot of money on it, but you might make some. When people talk about watches being an investment, they're really talking about buying something for two grand and turning around and selling it for four grand. You know, a big increase on the money. And that's where, that's where vintage watches come, come into play. If you really know your stuff and you've been studying watches and you kind of know the market trends and the history and this and that, you can buy a nice vintage watch. It doesn't have to be Rolex. It could be an Omega, uh, Jaeger LeCoultre, you know, it could be pretty much any high-end Swiss watch that's vintage. If you know what you're doing and the person you're buying from it doesn't really know its true value, you can, you can do really well. I've seen a lot of pawn shops in the area have older watches they don't really know the value of it you can scoop them up super cheap flip them turn them around that's definitely a good investment now as far as long-term investments go probably the watch with the best chance of increasing steadily over time is Patek Philippe these watches are made in limited quantities excellently made they are perfect they, they keep time unbelievably well. They're meant to last from generation to generation. You can't get a discount on them new. They're always, always, always charging full price. They're the quintessential watch. These watches, especially if you buy them pre-owned at a small discount, are a great investment. Now, do you have 20 grand, 30 grand lying around to buy one? That's another story. They're very, very expensive, but they're expensive for a reason because the people who buy them assume they're gonna go up in value. One of the main things also about investing in a watch is sometimes you just get lucky. Take for example the Rolex Milgauss. I have one on my wrist. This is a newer one though. This is one from around 2009. Rolex came out with the Rolex Milgauss in 60s or 70s. They made it for a few short years. It didn't sell because it was a little bit unconventional. It has like a lightning bolt, um, secondhand. It just didn't work. So they, they made it for like five or 10 years and then said, I'm done with this. Back then, those watches were probably $1,000, maybe less. If you have one of those watches from the 60s or 70s, a Milgauss, today, you're gonna get 30 grand for it. But that was just luck. The watch didn't sell. In those days, it was a piece of crap, to be honest with you. And most people just threw them away, they stopped working, whatever. No one could have foreseen that in uh, 30, 40, 50 years, these watches would have increased in value thousands of percent. It's just total luck. Anyone is gonna tell you different that they had the foresight that to see that the Milgauss was gonna be an expensive watch 40, 50 years down the road is, is lying to you. It's just pure luck. There's a lot of examples like that in the watch market where a certain watch was discontinued or has a, an error on it or, or something that just makes it skyrocket in price. 
a lot of times you're just going to get lucky. At the end of the day, our watch is a good investment. The, the real answer is, honestly, it just depends on how you buy it, what brand you're buying, and how long you keep it for. I think watches can be a great investment, but you have to be very smart about it, and you have to know what you're doing. Thank you guys for watching episode 27, hashtag AskBRP. I'm going to go back inside right now because it's unbelievably hot, and maybe you can see I'm sweating. Um, remember to follow me on Instagram, at Boca Raton Pond, Snapchat, BRP Luxury, and Facebook.com slash Boca Pond Shop. I will see you guys soon.